Yes, as everyone, it's Vlad Sportum, and welcome to my very first video about city skylines. So today I wanted to show you my my best project which I've ever done in this game, and this is a real life city. And in the future parts, I wanted to show you also some of my other cities which I've done so far, also some real life cities. And this city which I'm going to show you is also a real life city, and this is no one other than the real life city of Belgrade. And this is a city in European theme, it has almost 380,000 inhabitants, so let's check it out. So, this is the city part where everything started, this is Novi Belgrad. Actually, I did it the opposite way in real life because, uh, than in real life, because in real life uh, this is the old Belgrade or Stari Belgrad or Stari Grad as the local mun municipality is called and Yeah, I did it the other way around because here it was the starting point and The primary focus of this project was that I create the whole city like it is in real life So it it was rather secondary if the city has good finances or if it if it works efficiently but I did also some different things which which made the city working more like an efficient city than like a city which uh, which works like crap and so uh, this is Novi Belgrad it, you see it consists mostly of high-rise buildings there is not even a single low-rise building or residential build building at least and yeah, he, he, here's a, here's mostly a Soviet communist and a modern style architecture. And here are many different landmarks like Belleville, the hypermarket, the Belgrade Arena, Sawat Center. Ushche Tower and Ushche Shopping Center, Hyatt Regency, or no, not Hyatt Regency. Yeah, Hyatt Regency and uh, in and the uh, Crown Plaza, former Intercontinental, the waterfront, and stuff like that. Here, this is a huge empty space because here it is also empty or mostly filled with single detached crap houses this is the harbor with a passenger and cargo terminal connected to the railway a monorail which is customly uh, customly built by me was integrated into this game too parallelly parallelly going to the tra uh, to the tram system here is also a sky train Connecting, uh, connecting several neighborhoods of Novi Belgrad with the railway station. And here is the Stari Belgrad, the single detached house neighborhood, the stadium, the new railway station, which is still a huge uh, construction site in real life, but here it is finished. Many platforms, four of them underground, even with a cargo terminal. Here should be the clinical center, but so far this place is still empty, but it will get filled soon. And here is the expo center. The main transport hub with a railway station, with tra with trams crossing by and main bus station. Uh, here is a huge roundabout, although here should be a huge intersection, but because of the whole traffic, I decided to create a roundabout and now the traffic goes better. And here are some other different landmarks, like here is the National Bank. The Slavia round roundabout, 
the cathedral of Sveti Sava, which is actually the cathedral of the uh, the cathedral of wealth. And here you can see all the pretty trams going through the whole city. And what is here? This is the Tashmaidan Park. Actually, the pool is missing, but because of the huge size, this is actually a really big park, or also the Green Lung of Belgrade. And this is the Belgradjanka Tower, a typical landmark and one of the first skyscrapers in this city. The Terazia tun Tunnel. Trg Republike. Skupština Grada or the Town Hall with the... with the huge fountain right... N right facing it. Further up here is the... the Belgrade Port. Also with a cargo and uh, passenger terminal, an unbuilt area which I, which will be occupied soon, and here also a, a huge part with European style buildings, the area around the Knez Mihailova with lots of clubs and entertainment opportunities. The university and one of my favorite landmarks is of course the Most na Adi or Most Preko Adi Cigandi as it is officially called and I really love it because it is beautiful looking and it connects this part of Belgrade with Novi Belgrad and it is fantastic and here is the output passing by, uh, passing through. And what I made also custom is here a uh, output tunnel connecting with the main output or motorway connecting with the airport. And the airport is not in Surchin but here rather on the Velikoratno Ostrovo or called the Great War Island because Surchin is not included and it is apparently missing and I made it here because of the proximity to this to old and new Belgrade. That's why. And because the area in general is completely unoccupied. And now the sun is going down and it is time to say goodbye, so Let's enjoy this night view. I'm sorry if the game is a bit laggy, but when you have a city with that with a huge num number of inhabitants, it doesn't work very well. But if you go here in uninhabited parts, the FPS counter is going up. So it's turning night. If you have suggestions, just contact me, give me a comment, give me a like, give me a sub. I would be very happy of it and thanks for watching and bye bye.